Yo, what's going on guys? It's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another gig log. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Got the trailer behind me. We're heading to a vineyard. It's about 35 minutes away. We're gonna stop and get lunch on the way. But uh, right now we are loading up all the gear into the trailer so we can head on out. And yes, we're gonna be bringing out the custom turntable booth again so we can do quick, super quick setup and super quick teardown. Let's go ahead and load up. We're, Drake's bringing out Big Burfa right there. That's what we've nicknamed the big road case. It's Big Burfa. I don't think I showed this on the last gig log we just did, but the simplicity of the new setup is insane in terms of what we actually load in and load out. One thing, you have to have a trailer, and two, I have to have a way to roll this stuff in, otherwise it doesn't work and we have to go for a different setup. But for about 60 to 70% of our events around here that we can do this with, it works great. So as you saw, we only loaded three things into the trailer that roll. These things on the ground here, we have the ADJ facade and the two PRX 712s. Those will actually stack on top of Big Burfa here when we roll it into an event. So those will go onto one of these. So you got Big Burfa here that has the, the custom turntable booth, the subwoofers, and a bunch of other stuff inside of there. That's all ready to go. We have the ultimate audio audio rack right here that has all of the audio needs that we have, the microphones, all that sort of things is in here, ready to go. That plugs works works directly with the big custom booth. So those are two loads. And then the third load is what we need for ceremony. So if we weren't doing a ceremony, this is all we need. Over here, we have two ceremony racks because I'm trying out my new one and I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be good to go or not. So I brought this one as backup. So you only need one of these typically. Two gravity stands, DMX, Maui 5 Go, and then the two base plates on the bottom there for the gravity stands. That's it. Extra extension cords if needed. Other than my clothes and my laptop bag, that's everything that we need for this event. We're going to go ahead and pack this up and get going. Before we get on the road, I had to do a quick plug, you know, DJ Life clothing. We got the awesome face mask, which if you can tell, are easy to breathe through. They're easy to talk through. Awesome. Still have tons of face masks in stock. We have hoodies in stock. We have limited supply on t-shirts. We only have XL, small, 2XL, and 1-3X and 1-4X left. Also have a ton of stickers here and a few of the limited edition water bottles. So if you order anything on the DJ Life clothing, the face mask, the t-shirts, the hoodies, any of that, you're going to be getting a free koozie if you order anything on the site. Let's go! We have arrived. People, we have arrived, right, Drake? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're here. Dope location. Like, the view's great. There's water over there. Like, a little, I think it's the lake. We're gonna get unloading, though. We're gonna get unloaded into the barn and uh, get this thing started. We are setting up in this corner, and then speakers and lights are gonna be here and here. All right, we'll walk you guys through um, what all the setups and that are here in a little bit. But finished up ceremony setup. Gonna go get the videographer to get him to tap his audio into my board, get all that chewed up and ready to go. So as I was saying before my camera battery died, we just hooked up the audio for the videographer so that way they can tap in and get the clean audio of the mics they use for their video highlights. But now we're going to the AC because it's hot out here. Also we need a change.
I'm gonna take you guys on a walkthrough of what the setup is for the reception and then the ceremony and then we'll do some cinematics and then we'll get into the actual wedding itself. So let's start with the reception setup and let's start with the speakers and lighting that we're gonna be using. So speaker wise is the traditional setup that I use for all of the weddings that I do for the most part. Purex 715 XLF subs with sub pole mounted Purex 712s up top and Shave Wash FX2s on the donor wireless DMX back there that's gonna be running all of our lighting. So all set up here. We got one on this side of the stage where the bride and groom are going to be sitting. Uh, beautiful fireplace back there, by the way. And we have another one on this side because the dance floor area is right here. This is where our dance floor is gonna be. Very beautiful, lots of woodwork. Looks really nice in here, really like it. Coming on over here is where we're tucked. We're tucked over here in this corner with the custom turntable booth and our rack table mount system back behind the facade. So up front here, we have my turntable booth with two Rain 12s, a Pioneer DDJ S9, and we got the nice custom cup holder right here. Nice and clean, all set, ready to go. Laptop stand right there. Don't mind the wires because my laptop's not plugged in. It's actually down at the ceremony right now. On the back side, we got access to the S9 right here. We also got some storage pockets here for our paperwork, for my phone, my keys, my personal DJ microphone for the night, all that right here. Down below, we do have a nice cushy mat so my feet are not destroyed by the end of the night. I'll link this in the description down below. A lot of people have been asking how you save your feet at events. It's this mat right here. All the cables come out of the booth right here, run down around back behind to our audio rack back here. So this is command center for the whole entire wedding. So we got workstation over here here for our other vendors center area with the rack the other table with the workstation Chave show express on the 13 inch hp spectra back here got this new gimbal system we're going to try out for some cinematic shots got the cooler full of drinks down here audio rack is the yamaha mg12 right here down below we have the Furman power strip or the Furman power conditioner uh, we have our Chave show express that controls all the lighting with the donor dmx plugged in on the back side dbx drive rack pa2 there is my audio technical wired microphone or wireless microphone and we're going to grab the ceremony wired microphones and set them up here so that we have two additional mics for all the toast. So we have our mic sanitation right here as well as some gaff tape and a sharpie to label the different mics so we know which one is which. That's kind of like our COVID microphone sanitization area. And then there's a power strip below. There's our cable tow more. But that right there is the reception setup. So we're going to go down and check out the ceremony setup now. So outside we kind of were already here, over here but this is kind of like a little patio area. They got some nice string bulb lighting up above and then down here is where the ceremony itself is going to take place and just past it is um i think it's a lake or it's a reservoir one of the two but right through the wood lines is a bunch of water very nice beautiful place to have a ceremony they can have a ceremony here or there's like a little gazebo not really gazebo like pavilion over there that you can have a wedding at as well but what you guys care about is the ceremony setup itself so over here is the new battery powered ceremony rig that i am rocking for this one so this is going to be mine the one that you guys have seen prior i've actually sold that to marcellus that's going to be his main one and i built this one that works better for me speaker wise is still the ld systems maui 5 go the best battery powered speaker possible on the market i will i will stand by that for life this speaker is amazing then we have my main dj laptop that's going to be playing the music for the ceremony itself Right here is the recorder that the videographer has tied into the Yamaha MG06X, which then ties into the rack right here. So inside this rack right here, it's very similar to the other one. It's just a little bit more modular. So up top, we still have the same, well, actually this is new, the Colorado Sound and Light battery power system. So this right here will run on AC power or battery powered if you've not seen this before. So you can plug in AC power, turn it on, it'll run on AC power perfectly fine, or you can turn it on to mode top here which runs on battery or AC power and if you lose AC power it flips onto battery automatically this thing is amazing so think about it like this if you're running your ceremony right in the middle of ceremony and you're plugged into power somewhere and they're doing their vows like the bride speaking her vows in the middle of that and the caterer unplugs your power in the kitchen your mics cut off at a normal event with this right here if that happens this thing in a flip will switch over to battery powered. And in, if you guys have seen the previous video, there used to be a delay where it would power off and then power on. It's instant now. So with the new versions that Colorado Sound and Lighting is making, I'll link them in the description down below. I believe I also have a discount code for you guys that you can use. Um, so I'll link it down below, but this thing right here is amazing. If you guys are doing ceremonies, you basically hook it right up into your wireless microphones and your audio board, and it just will flip instantly to battery powered. So ultimate ceremony rig right here. Then down below it, I actually have two brand new, these are literally brand new out of the box. Audio Technica 3000 fourth gens are the only microphones that I rock. I have eight of them now. These things are amazing. We have a drawer down below that houses 
the microphones itself that's unlocked so i got two handhelds in here the two lapels are already out and ready to go got my headphones up here ready to control it show you guys a little bit of the back because this is where it's a little bit different so with this rig you basically plug in your two xlrs for the microphones and then plug them into your board and then the power just comes out of it so this power cable right here is already tied up into the battery system and then it just comes around and plugs into the yamaha mixer so that it runs on the same battery power ac power flipping system tucked up behind this one new plate right here is my antenna combiners ev antenna combiners that combine the two antennas from both of these microphones into two half wave antennas right here and then they're mounted right here on the one u plate and that's pretty much it and with mentioning and showing you guys the new and improved version of the ultimate battery powered ceremony rig that i use everything that is shown in this video all the equipment is linked in the description down below if you guys are interested so drake has already changed and that means that i need to go change so all changed, ready to go for the ceremony. Looking good, I'm gonna take this jacket off because it's way too hot outside. But we're gonna head on down to the ceremony area. I'm gonna grab my mask and we're going to start prelude. I still gotta get the groom mic'd up. The officiant is mic'd up right now. And uh, we'll start the ceremony. So see you guys at the ceremony, followed by when we get back here for cocktail. Once again, I want to welcome you all to Brittany and Jordan's wedding reception. Who's ready to have some fun tonight? And make some noise, make some noise real quick. Let's go. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Rick, maybe the DJMC tonight. And that's not that important because right now we got some very, very important people to welcome into the wedding reception this evening. And we're going to start things off here with the lovely flower girl, Skylar. Welcome, Skylar. Make some noise, make some noise. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to move things into our wedding party, so I need everyone to please make some noise for Lauren Welber and Bailey Bryant. All right, all right. Keep your hands going for Lauren Bodenhammer and Justin. We're going to party tonight. We're going to party tonight. Keep the hands going. Next up, we have Kelly and Matt Cox. Kendall and Colin. For our made up hunter, Bailey Lloyd, and our best man, Matt Smith. All right, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, we welcome in our wedding party. We've even welcomed in our flower girl. If I could kindly ask her, everyone, to please stand, if you may, please stand. I need everyone to get up on their feet. I need everyone to make some noise. Put your hands together. Scream and shout if you wish. It is my honor to introduce for the second time tonight, Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Smith. Make some noise, make some noise. They just got married, people. Let's go. You may be seated, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, if you can direct your attention to the center of the dance floor, Brittany and Jordan are going to share their first dance together as husband and wife.
Mr. Mary's Brady and Jordan. Let's go.
So they, they just finished up their sparkler send off as you just saw. We're already starting the tear down because we have to be out of here by 11, which gives us uh, about 50 minutes. So it shouldn't be a problem. We get out of here about 28 with this setup. So I'm gonna go change. Drake's gonna get started on tearing down the speakers over there. All right, guys, though, that was all for today's gig log. We are on our way home. Um, Drake, any last words? I'm good. It's been a good day. I'm good. That's what he says. Don't forget, shopdjlife.com. We're doing a free koozie for every purchase at anything you buy. You're going to get a free koozie starting basically today. So as soon as this video is live, free koozies for all orders. Don't forget to like, comment down below what you guys thought of this wedding. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, all that fun stuff. Keep the record spinning, and I will see you guys next time. DJ Rick Webb out with Drake at the Home Place Vineyard Wedding Fun. Good, good night.